Does sewing custom curtains seem like a daunting task? Today we're going to demystify the process by showing you how to make some self-pleating curtains with two easy things, fabric and some ribbon. You'll be surprised how easy they are to make. All you really need to know how to do is sew a straight line. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Evans. And I'm Liz Evans. We are two girls who married brothers and ended up with the exact same name. Together we blog over at Simple Simon & Company where we love to share free tutorials about home decor projects, um, sewing for our children, and quilting tutorials. Are we ready to start making curtains? Let's do it. We'll go over some of the basic sewing supplies that we need, but really all we're going to need is some fabric and some ribbon. The fabric we're using today is a print from Premier Prints and it's in their home decor section, which just means that it's a thicker, heavier fabric. Today we're going to show you how to make unlined curtains, but if you'd like to make lined curtains, you will need some lining material as well. And then the other thing that we're going to need beside our basic sewing tools that Liz is going to talk about in just a second is some ribbon. You can use satin ribbon or grow green ribbon. These are going to make some great tabs on the back of the curtain that helps them pleat up. We've made some behind us that are out of our similar fabric and we'll show you how those pleats work and those tabs work in the back too. All right, some tools that are going to come in handy for us to use today are a cutting mat, some scissors, a ruler, a measuring tape, your rotary cutter, and our trusty steam ripper. You also could um, grab some pins, your scissors, and we've got a really neat tool that we're going to show you how it works in just a little bit, which is a hemming tool that is a really great tool that's going to come in handy. We'll show you out in a few minutes. Another thing that's going to be absolutely necessary to have for this project, though, is our iron that we have over here. We're going to do a lot of ironing in this project. It's a fun afternoon project, and like we've said before several times during this video, they are such a great way to change the feel and the atmosphere of a room. We love to make them.